Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to Day of the Tentacle Remastered, a redone version of probably one of the most well-known and popular point-and-click adventure games of all time, the sequel to Maniac Mansion, which was my first point-and-click adventure game. And when I heard that this was being remastered in the same way that Grim Fandango had been remastered, I had to jump in on this and give it a play, kind of take a nice little trip down memory lane. So I think we've got all the options for recording done and good to go, so let's get to it. Would you like to enable the developer's commentary? No, thank you. Oh, haven't seen that in many, many moons. I have to tell you, it's looking great so far. It's like I'm getting flooded with memories. Got goosebumps. Phalanges! Mmm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take all, all the world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. Dun, dun, dun. Now then, if you have not played the original Maniac Mansion and are wondering what the hell's going on here, uh, let me try and sum up as best I can. In the original Maniac Mansion, the mansion in question belongs to the Edison family, which consists of Dr. Fred, who's a mad scientist, uh, Nurse Edna, who is an equally mad nurse, and Weird Ed Edison, who is their son, who's a paramilitary junkie. And in the original game, Dr. Fred is under mind control from a alien meteor that fell near the house and he start he kidnaps a girl by the name of Sandy and Dave who is Sandy's boyfriend and his group of friends which consisted of Bernard try to rescue her from the mansion and Dr. Fred had a bunch of other stuff in the house including dead cousin Ted who is their mummified relative and purple and green tentacle which are creatures that Dr. Fred made and after a bunch of happenstance and certain hijinks ensued, you're able to free Dr. Fred from the mind control and deal with the meteor. There's different ways you could have dealt with it. But in this game, the only person from the original game that you get to play as is Bernard. But he was probably the most memorable out of all the people that you could choose to play as. And as you can see, we also have um, two new characters in Laverne and Hokey. And a cow. Man, I played this game so much when I was growing up. I got this in a 
what was it, a LucasArts value pack that had this game, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, TIE Fighter, and Rebel Assault 2. And back to the mansion once again. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Control. Ooh, they've changed some stuff up. Navigate, verb selection dial. All right. We'll see if that's good. Oh, there's Chuck the Plant. He was from the first game. Now, this is a very different art style from the original Maniac Mansion. And we can right click to look at all the different stuff here. Mmm, Spearmint, my favorite. So, can we go ahead and grab that? It's stuck to the floor. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. So we got some notices here. And a help wanted sign. Help wanted. Lab assistant. Hardworking moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma. Not required. But I'm sure a hunchback would be. So we grab all the things. Typical point and click adventure style. It's permanently attached to the countertop. Well, can we use it? And we've got a dime in the payphone. Indeed. It's a very different. Normally in these games you'd have a menu down here at the bottom, but this is cool because it gives the whole full screen experience. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. So chances are good there's something on the other side. I don't really want it. Can we pull? There we go. I don't know the combination. And we got a phone, a Swiss bank book, family photos. Yeah, this is like riding a bike. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Rude. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. So you find out over the course of the game, and you can see here via, via the office and everything, that they've turned Fred has turned the mansion into a hotel. That's the only way that he could really make ends meet. Hope no one's watching. I look so goofy on video. No argument here. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. I don't have time for idle chit chat now. I have work to do. All right, let's go ahead and open the desk drawer. Boo boo be gone. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. I'll grab all the things. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Yeah, I'll give you a guess who that is. Nothing more in here. Now, if I remember correctly, Hoagie's upstairs, Laverne's back here. Um... We could use something here. 
I believe. How do we actually look at our inventory? Oh, cool! It highlights all the stuff we can actually look at. It's signed, here's your EPA grant. Keep up the good work. Hi from Mommy, Ronnie83. Alright, so to push gum, let's check our uh, stuff here in terms of where... I need to look up the controls again real quick. Alright, there we go. We use the middle mouse button. Kerbubu be gone. Let's, uh... I don't think that would look better white. Oh, it's white out. Alright. I see. Now, if I recall correctly... Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Rap sheet trespasser. Now, that wasn't the entrance to the lab in the first game. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Right. <laughs> Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! The TARDIS it is not. I'd be happy with Bill and Ted's phone booth at this rate. Well, I'll be! Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. <laughs> this must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. There you go. Hoagie needs to see the silver lining.
Oh, I forgot about that. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we gonna get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. So we have our mission. And Dr. Fred's lab has changed a lot since the first game. And I got the power switch to the Chronogon. And I guess that's what happened to the uh, weird Edsel from the first game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I believe... Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs! I think the plans are actually down here. We've got a hamster generator. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. So we need to grab the hamster here eventually. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! All right, well, this is what we need. I've got the plans. Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? Pure talent. My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them. Yes. Down the toilet. No, through time. Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. So now we can choose, or go back and forth between Hoagie and Bernard now. And I'd really like to think that Dude, it's like cannibalism. Nice. I like to think that this right here is what's available in the TARDIS. It's the doctor's uh, 
personal bathroom facility. Well, we got normal outhouses here. Let's take a look at the plans. Edison Super Salad Battery. Oil, gold, croutons, vinegar, and lettuce. <laughs> okay. It's the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that red Edison dude. Yeah, well, let's head over here then. The father of our country is gazing out at me. Wow. Oh, I forgot about that. Who's here at the mansion at this time? Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! Oh, mine! If only we had some nasty weather! Concept art unlocked, huh? Now I think Ben Franklin is actually over here. Indeed. If you think I'm something to look at now, just wait! Hi there, mister. Franklin! Ben Franklin! Soon to be known as the inventor of electricity! Uh, do you know Red Edison? He's a scientist guy, too. Red Edison? A scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his inn, of all places, to write our Constitution. Shouldn't you say, the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! Huh. I, Ben Franklin, am going to summon power from the sky by sheer force of genius! Where's his key at? I wonder what Red would say about that. Who cares about that crackpot? I need Red to help me save humanity. So he's a missionary now, eh? Well, why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. Ouch. What's so bad about Red? What can you say about a guy who spent the last four years perfecting a left-handed hammer? He's insane. And he steals other people's inventions, too, before they can even apply for the patent. Not that I'm bitter. Of course not. So, where's this red guy at? Down in his secret lab, of course, neglecting his guests. Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Hmm, the hundred dollar guy, not bad. Well, see ya. Carry on. So that's all the information we can get out of Mr. Franklin. So as you can see, this mansion has been standing for quite some time. And, oh, I got some leaves blowing. That was weird. Mailbox, mailbox flag. It's closed. Indeed. Um, can we open? There we go. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Okay. What was that? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Hmm. Alrighty. So I don't wanna. Oh, I forgot. You have to be really specific about instructions in this game. Can't just... Oh! Hello there, dead cousin Ted. Cool, the room clerk's a mummy. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. <laughs> I have something for Red Edison. Yeah. 
Later, dude. So, I would love to keep on talking to uh, Ted, but that's about the exact same. That's about what you should expect, regardless of the time period. So, let's head in here. There he is. He seems busy. Very much so. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. It must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. Hey. Oh, I'm a lefty, so I take offense at that. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Man, you were just hitting all the uh, buttons, aren't you? So let's go ahead and hand off the patent application. Hmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. So, we, found, we have our shopping list. We need oil, vinegar, and gold. So, hopefully we'll be able to track those down in the next episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's really cool to uh, step back and play this again. But if you like the episode... Thanks, Hoagie. <laughs> if you like the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.